Alright, Shalom. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim or Kapodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who teaches truth well. You know, peace, blessing, and salutations to the hopeful elect. You know, the Bayash Debadad, the house of David, the Aqua and Aqua's listening and learning to God say Shalom. This is the brother uh, Karatsa out of the Mena Valley, Las Vegas camp. You know, here with another lesson today. <clears throat> Going, you know, uh, yesterday I, I did a lesson on the um, the hated mainly going into uh, you know Esau and Edom you know but today's lesson is going to be uh, you know the wickedness of the two thirds you know you know driving and, and uh, you know pretty much that the, the Lord hates you hates you uh, wicked uh, Israelites too you you uh, Negroes Latinos and, and Native Americans who are not a part of that uh, tabernacle of David, you know, you, you're a two-third, man. And what a two-third is, is, uh, you know, a person who's a part of the nation of Israel, but are just uh, consumed in this wickedness, you know. So, uh, we're just going to get get into it, you know, uh, as it says in um, Second Edges, wickedness has uh, polluted the earth, the whole earth, you know, and... Um, you know, you, you followers of uh, of Satan, this uh, white this white man, that also known as the devil, you know Esau. You know, uh, y'all follow his his customs and, and you trust in his oppression. You follow his ways, thinking it's the best thing for you. You you go and um, you know do it as he he does. You know. Doesn't the scripture say, be not like the heathen, you know? But y'all get caught up in that. You get caught up in, in the vain um, lusts of this world, thinking that it's better than the salvation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so, let's get it. <clears throat> uh, this is Isaiah 1 and 4. It says, all sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going away backwards. You know, you made you pissed off the Most High with all your iniquities. You know, back back uh, with. Uh, let's get that in Exodus real quick. In Exodus thirty-two, when they made the uh, molten calf, what did uh, the Lord tell Yahweh? I mean, the Lord Yahweh tell Moses. You know, let's get that. Um, this is because they, you know, y'all are impatient. You know, you two thirds are so impatient. You want everything right now because that's how Esau told you you could have it. You want, um, a delivery. You don't even got to get up. You know, you want some food and you just order that shit from your phone. And that's the type of bullshit and laziness that these two thirds have, you know, and just wanting, they just want, want, and don't want to, uh, Give nothing. But just like uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua was pissed off then when he made that molten calf, because y'all couldn't wait for Moses to get down, which he had the, the commandments, you know, the, the fruit of life. You know, he's pissed off with you right now. For still being in, in this, uh, you know, following the ways of the oppressor. This is... Uh, Exodus chapter 32 and verse um, 9, it says, And the Lord has, the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff necked people. You know, you always think you got the right way, you know. And, and um, you know, you think you know that your Savior Jesus is, is, is your Savior. You know, you, you want to feel like everybody could be accepted in, in um, in heaven, you know, everybody can obtain salvation. That's contrary to the scriptures. Verse 10, now therefore let me alone. He told Moses, get the, get out of here. And your people pissing me off. That my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. Man, he was getting ready, ready to get rid of y'all back then. Right after he saved you, what think he? What, what is making you think he's stopping from doing that again? 
you know, it don't it don't take a lot of men, you know, to uh, to repopulate uh, the the earth, man. How many uh, people were uh, survived in the times of Noah? He had Noah, Ham, Shem, man. Y'all really think that that you know the Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is a respecter of no man, you know. So if you're doing wickedness, you're gonna get this that sword of destruction. You're gonna you're gonna feel that fire, man. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts around it. Fine. So let's get this in First um, Peter. Chapter 4 and verse 17 it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it begin at us, what shall the end of them be? End of them be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High Yahweh. You know, so if it begins with us, you know, the, the, uh, the people, the Israelites in the truth, you know, practicing this truth, because in this truth, you got you got um, wicked ass Israelites, you know. Just look at these other camps, and some of them, and some of these uh, camp leaders, you know, they more wicked than than a two third outside of the truth, man. And they got they got the worst uh, destruction coming for them because they know what the the right way is, you know. When you get that in, um, that's them cold ass Israelites and. In, in the book of uh, Revelation. Let's grab that. Revelation uh, 3 and um, 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would, thou art cold, so then thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot. I will spew thee out of my mouth. You know, hey, it says, uh, because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not the, that thou art wretched and miserable and poor, blind and naked. Man, that's that's really you, uh, you know, you brothers in this truth trying to make a profit off this truth. Trying to, um, you know, uh, say that you good, you know, you good being where you at because you feel like you on top. You know, because you might have a little something, you know. This uh, goes back to the parable of the sower and the seeds, man. The ones that that uh, that got choked out by the by the thorns of the briars, man. Those are those wicked ass Israelites that that the uh, the Lord's coming for, man. That He's gonna judge first, man. You gonna start seeing these these um, wicked ass camp leaders, you know? Hey, hey, you already see it. Ain't ain't Nate sick? Ain't Nate sick? Hey, Apostle Tahar and, and, and Apostle Gabar, you know, they they look like they good to me. You know, everybody everybody getting sick uh, around these times, but they look like they perfectly fine, right? Don't that tell you something? Because isn't uh, you know, you go in the Book of Job, doesn't he say he's gonna uh, save you from them uh, six or seven plagues? You know. Famine being one of them. So the Lord's going to watch out for his, but these, you wicked two-thirds, you know, you got some, some shit coming for you. So you better get right. You know? Tom, let's, let's go back in uh, 1 Peter 4 and, and um, 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of, of Yahweh, and if it begin at us, which shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of, of Yahweh. What should be the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? You know? It's going to be that death by pain. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Because you only got one third of, of, uh, of the nation of Israel being saved. You know, and that's a small number. When, when you think about Israel as the sands of the sea, and how many uh, Israelites there are. And that's a small, small number. So you got to work, uh, you know, work out, uh, 
you know, make your calling of the election sure, man. Because this is, it's a, this is a tight group to be in. You know, the Bible should never die. The house of David, where the tabernacle of David is a, is a small, is a small number. It's a remnant. Verse 19, wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit the, the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. And come on. You saw do your thing so so these uh wicked two thirds can fall in your trap and, and and get the punishment that they deserve. This is um I lost what else I was gonna go to. So like, let's just give Zechariah thirteen for edification. Then we're gonna go to uh second address. And this is what a two thirds actually is, you know. But you two thirds that are a part, you know, claim to be a part of the body, you know, and you y'all gonna get something horrible, Lord willing. This is um just flipping pages. Zechariah thirteen and eight. And it shall come to pass that in the land that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third shall be left therein. You know, and that third left therein is the one third, you know, the, the righteous, you know, those rehearsing the righteous acts. But those two thirds, man, them use the, the those followers, you know, the followers of the uh, of the devil, man. Followers and, and those that have fallen deep into the lust of this world, you know, that want to just go get a, a bag, you know, don't care about, um, don't care about anything else, you know, don't care about salvation, you only care about Jesus, don't even care about nothing, man. Y'all sick, you know, that's why, uh. Yahweh Shai is a physician because he, he was sent down to heal us. You know, the one third, you know, we were in wickedness at one time, but we realized our mistakes. And we came back to the, the truth and the light of this doctrine, you know, and the spirit of Yahweh Shimi Al Shai, you know, to warn the others, you know, as the as the prophets, you know, Lord willing we be those men. You know. Let's get a second address. Nine and uh, let's get nine and five real quick. It says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. You know, so, so, uh, you know, the elect was predestined, you know, they're predestined before the foundation of this earth. You know, the elect was predestined for this, for to be, you know, who they are today, to be a part of the elect, to be doing the, the righteous acts, you know, to uh, turn their back to sin, you know. A prophet was was a prophet of old, you know. This is uh, dropping down to verse 9. You know, and a two-third was doing two-thirds shit back then. This is a... Second Edgers nine and nine. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which have which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully. Shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they have loathed my law, while well, they have yet liberty, and when as yet the place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. But despised it because what is a how about Shimi Al Shai say that he, he doesn't wish, you know, death upon everybody, but wishes that they come back to repentance, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And verse 12 it says, The same must know it after death by pain. So the benefits, you know, you receive the benefits of being an Israelite. Because the benefits are that you are the, the um chosen people. 
you know, you will be, uh, you know, right in your right mind in the kingdom. You will be still above the, the, the highest heathen. But on this side, you so damn wicked, man. You got to you gotta get the same punishment. And you will know that death by pain. You're going to either uh, have your body eat itself, you know, through famine. Or you're going to eat a missile. Experience that, that, that oven in Malachi. One of, you know, four. You know, you're going to feel that, that, that hurt, man. It's a righteous punishment, man. You know, the Lord's judgments are righteous in all his ways. You know, so with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Rakakwadash. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders uh, of, his, uh, of Great Millstone. Peace, and, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, teaching this truth, spreading it throughout the four corners of the earth, and risking their lives to do so. You know, you know the buyer should never die, I want to say, shall I want.